Bwindi Community Hospital uh, exists primarily to provide health care. This health care costs about uh, $3 per person per year. We reach about 12,000 children, mainly below five years, because those are the most vulnerable. We have developed a database where we went out into the community and registered all the children. This CHAP, or Child Health Access Project, allows for this child to access all health care without any cost. Prevalence of HIV AIDS in this community is 6%. So we have an HIV AIDS and TB program. We do voluntary counseling and testing, and we also avail treatment to those we find HIV positive. The biggest disease burden in this area are the preventable diseases. We have teams that go deep into the community to sensitize and teach about prevention. When you educate the youth, then you are developing the community. We've been taught on how to prevent malaria, sensitized on HIV, and have learned on personal hygiene. Within our community, we have the Batwa. Batwa were originally in the, in the forest, but they were removed and they kind of became destitute. Right now we are here at Chitahulia Batwa Settlement, where our hospital team has come for an integrated outreach for vaccination and growth monitoring of these children. And as you can see, it is hectic. The advantage of having a mother's waiting hostel at the hospital is that mothers come well in time to wait she will access services of a healthcare giver. And in case of an emergency, then this mother will be assisted. This has significantly reduced the death that arises out of, you know, complicated birth. She went to our waiting mother's hostel and waited until time came and she delivered her twin babies, two girls. The services that Buindi Community Hospital give have brought a significant improvement on the quality of life. And so getting unrestricted funding is so much advantageous to us in that we can emphasize some of the areas where we have already seen we are making positive impact.